Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome back to part two of building the DIY aquaponic system at home. In part one, we walked through all the steps to get to this point. We built the frame using PVC pipe. We drilled holes in the grow bed and built the drainage system. Uh, we also filled up the grow bed with the expanded clay. And now we're going to actually test our system outside and run it for a little while to make sure that it's going to work great and flawlessly by the time we put it onto the fish tank. In this part, we're also going to do that and install it on the fish tank as well as install the lighting and really get the entire picture for the whole setup. So I hope you follow along and you really enjoy it because here we go. So to test out the pump system, uh, we filled the bucket up with now clean, fresh water um, and we're going to just, you know, put the pump inside, just make sure it's submerged and uh, it comes with this quarter inch tubing. Not exactly sure I'll keep this just yet, uh, but for now, I think it'll do just fine. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it in there, plug it in and uh, run the system. So I plugged it in, it's pumping water now into the grow bed and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, now water is coming out of the drain pipe. So we have the water pumping up into the top of the grow bed and uh, draining right back into the same reservoir. So I think I'm gonna run this for a little while just to make sure the clay is uh, nice and clean and there's nothing weird coming out of the system before we put it into uh, the actual fish tank. One thing is I do want to find a way to uh, evenly disperse this water. Yep, so here she goes. I'm going to run it for a little while and uh, then we are going to uh, set it upstairs. Okay guys, so I think I may have solved the uh, drain solution where I took the fourth inch tubing and I just drilled small holes every about inch and capped the top. Okay, so uh, here we go. I, uh, I fixed a lot of the memory just by boiling uh, some water and then putting the, the uh, tubing in the hot water for maybe just a minute, a minute and a half, um, and then just straightened it out. Really fixed a lot of those memory problems. It's now laying a lot straighter. Um, I will bury this just so once the light is on it, it won't create a lot of algae or gunk within the tubing. And uh, I put it on the fish tank and it looks really, really awesome. I really like how it looks. I'll take the top off. Um, and producing a lot of water. I'm keeping the filter on for now just because it has a lot of that beneficial bacteria and uh, everything in it. You can see some of the fish swimming around. Um, and yeah, pretty excited. It's uh, producing a lot of really, really good bubbles and uh, a lot of really good aeration in the water as well. And so I think it looks good. It's a, a nice like sleek setup, um, no dripping at all. I'm monitoring the underneath. There's no signs of any leaks um, or anything really at all. So from right now, it, uh, it looks pretty, pretty good, exactly how I was envisioning it. Okay guys, so I'm out here at the light stand. I hope you can hear me with the wind noise. I'm not exactly sure how that get picked up, um, but I wanted to show you kind of how I built this and what I thought through. There's a lot of these light stands online, but not only are they kind of expensive, but in my situation, I didn't feel like they would fit perfectly on my table and provide exactly what I wanted. And so I took the same half inch PVC pipe that I used to build the stand where the grow bed sits in and I just bought two elbows and two split uh, Ys for the PVC pipe and just built this really simple light stand. And then I drilled a couple holes in the top of this top PVC pipe and screwed in a couple J hooks that will be used to hold the light. So really simple, really cheap. And I built it exactly to my specifications, not only the width so it's gonna fit right on my table, but also the height to make sure that I can adjust the light 
um, as the plants grow and have optimal growing environment. So as the theme of the rest of the system, I'm going to go and I'm going to paint this black uh, before we install it on the uh, final thing. It might be white in these videos, but it will eventually be black. And uh, just wanted to get this out there to show you how I built it. So obviously one of the most important parts of the setup is going to be the lighting. And for that, I went with the two foot Monius L T5 LED bulb. And so I, I got this on Amazon for about $30. Um, but what I really like about this system is that it came with everything that you see here. So it came with the lighting itself. It came with the side reflectors to really pinpoint that light down on the growing area. It came with the cords to string it up and it came with a on off switch that allows you to individually um, turn each of the bulbs on depending on your situation. So the two foot version is perfect for the size of my grow bed. It's going to cover the entire grow bed pretty perfectly. This is a 30 watt which I think is about the right kind of wattage for lettuce um, and spinach which are pretty low light varieties of greens and I've never used LED lights before but I've heard really good things and so I'm kind of excited to experiment with the LEDs. Um, if you didn't want to get an LED version you could also always either on Amazon or at a hardware store go and get the T5 or T8 fluorescent um, bulbs and fixtures those will run a little bit more expensive than $30, but right around that range um, and also give great results that people have used for a really long time. Okay guys, so that was it. That is how I built this DIY aquaponics system at home. Like I said, for me, it cost about $50 all in. That's including the light and I'm really excited. So down in the comments, let me know if you wanna see you know, weekly updates or how the plants are really thriving there. Um, I would really love to hear your, your opinion about this system and maybe something that you've built at home. I know that this is small scale, but I really think it's a cool thing that a lot of people could get benefit of, especially if you already have a fish tank at home. Like always, I really appreciate you guys all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, tight lines.